Today we're going to talk about the story behind Officer 401. Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. I am not going to be able to film another video until at least Friday, uh, if not next week. So I wanted to go ahead and get one out to you guys today. And I was thinking about it earlier and I was like, I really haven't talked about how this channel started, not in detail anyway. So I figured today I would share with you guys some things I don't think I've ever actually shared with you on this channel before. So my account uh, as Officer 401 has actually been around since December 12th of 2006. When I originally created this YouTube channel, it was just like any other YouTube channel out there. I'd never really put up content. Once in a while, I would put up a video. I have an old video of like my cat, my cat from over 10 years ago. And throughout the years, I never cared about subscribers. I never, I never knew really what subscribers meant if that makes sense. So over the course of 10 years, I had this channel, the name Officer 401 actually comes from uh, the badge number of an officer that I used to do ride lawns with. Uh, it was the first officer I started doing ride lawns with. I have never had the badge number 401. And yes, I know it's an area code in Rhode Island. So many people ask me that all the time. They say, hey, um, do you live in Rhode Island? No, I live in Georgia. So after 10 years of having this channel and never really putting anything on it and a few videos that I did put on it, I just set to private. Uh, they're actually still on my channel. Again, they're just set to private. So over the course of this 10 years, I accumulated 145 subscribers in 10 years. Obviously was not worried about it too much. So moving forward, uh, I was working for my new department that I am at now and my lieutenant at the time gets a call for shots fired. Well, he responds to this call and just a couple of minutes after he arrives, he calls for backup. Now, you have to keep in mind, this is somebody that never calls for backup. And I actually came from all the way across town to back him up. So when I arrived on scene, there was a guy that he had in handcuffs. And there was, I think it was like an M16 that was disassembled on the back of his patrol car. And I was like, oh shit, like what happened here? I asked him what's going on and he says, hey, I need you to get the information from whoever just went inside that house. So I start walking and here's where the fun begins and this is where the story of Officer 401 really starts. I'm walking through the driveway and the garage door at this house is open. And I just happened to glance into the garage and see this flag that was hanging up in the back of the garage. The logo on it, I recognized. Whose logo was it? That's right, do it with Dan. I was actually in a couple of his videos and it was just him, he's a motovlogger for those of you that aren't familiar. And he would put out these videos and there was times where like officers would fly by him, go in code or whatever while he was doing his video. And a couple of those times it was me. Throughout the years, people pointed out to me, hey, you're in this guy, do it with Dan's video. It's like, oh, okay, cool, that's awesome. So I started watching some of his videos. Well, I recognize the flag is do it with Dan and I go up to the front door, I knock on it. Who answers the door? None other than do it with Dan. So I said, holy shit, do it with Dan. He turned white as a ghost. He didn't know what to say. But inside I was screaming because I was like both excited and terrified at the same time. I was like, he's gonna arrest me. He's gonna fucking take me to jail. He knows exactly who I am, I'm, but this is it. This is it. So long story short, I introduced myself. I told him that I had actually reached out to him through YouTube Messenger or whatever it was at the time. I think it's gone now. And he told me, he's like, yeah, I don't really check my YouTube messages, but I'll be sure to do so. What's your channel? And I said, I think it's called Officer 401, if I remember correctly. So long story short, he ends up finding this email uh, that I had sent to him from quite a while ago saying, hey, I like your videos. I'm the cop that's in that one that flies past you while you're filming. God, that scared the shit out of me, dude. I was like, he's totally coming for me. That deserves a backfire. That dude came hauling by me, man, fuck. So anyway, we start talking back and forth. I tell him, you know, I do some stuff with drones and photography and things like that. Well, he ends up giving me a shout out in one of his videos. And uh, the very next morning, I went, again, remember it took me 10 years to get 145 subscribers. Uh, the very next morning, I woke up with 2,100 subscribers and my mind was blown. And people were asking me, hey, you should talk about cop stuff. You should talk about you know, law enforcement and why you guys do certain things the way you do. 
So at the time I had some things going on in my personal life where I didn't want my identity revealed in my videos. So for a long time, as you some OG watchers out there know, uh, I didn't show my face for a very long time on this channel. Well, people started figuring out who I was and like there were some like really creepy people online that figured out who I was pretty quickly. And now information's all out there. I really don't give a shit anymore. But either way, waking up to 2,100 subscribers and people asking me to do videos and stuff, that is what sparked Officer 401. That is what started the whole thing. Uh, what really put this channel on the map was a video that I put out called what do cops keep in the trunk of their car that video went viral and I remember jumping from I think I was at 17,000 subscribers by that time to 202,000 subscribers in like a week and a half so that's really what put me kind of on the mark and what sucks about that is that one video I was told to take down I was only told to take down three videos by my department and it was all by the same guy but he's retired and nobody else has said anything else since, so I have since made them public again. So that really sucked, having to take down <laughs> a viral video, uh, but luckily I think it was kind of at its peak and starting to decline, so it didn't really matter by that point anyway. But either way guys, that is the start of Officer 401. That is how I got my start. Had I not responded to my lieutenant that night, who's actually deceased now, I would never have met Do It With Dan. I never would have gotten that shout out. I never would have started this YouTube channel, and I'm not really sure what I would be doing right now. I enjoy what I do. I like making content for you guys. I really enjoy uh, creating and trying to come up with some ideas for you guys. Sometimes it's a little frustrating because I get frustrated with myself. Uh, obviously not with you guys. I enjoy talking to you guys, but I get frustrated with myself because it's really hard to come up with stuff. It's hard to come up with different ideas you know, several times a week for years. That's very hard to do, especially when you're so focused on one topic, which is law enforcement. And I know a few of you have been kind of frustrated that I'm trying to branch out, not necessarily away from law enforcement, but trying to incorporate more content, like the video I did with Blair last week. I want to incorporate more stuff like that because I can only talk about cop stuff so much on this channel. And I also don't want to mimic any other channel particularly, if that makes sense. Like, yes, I know other people are doing food videos, but there's also other people talking about cop shit. You know, it's the chances of coming up with something completely unique every single week is very slim to none. It's not gonna happen. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. I'm glad to have every single one of you here. I can't believe I am past 545,000 now, I guess, somewhere around there. From the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much, especially all of you that have been here from the beginning. I thoroughly enjoy doing content for you guys. And like I said, I'm about to have a big surprise for you guys that I'm really excited about. And uh, that will mean more video production. I'll just leave it at that. But the Patreon people know what I'm talking about. If you want to find out, sign up for Patreon. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic week, and I will see you guys very, very soon.